Okay. So let's have a quick introduction about myself. Then we'll have a quick introduction about you guys also. So I have a total, uh, my name is Ankit Narula and I belong from Chandigarh, Punjab, India. And uh, I have total nine years of experience in the IT industry, which first three years I worked in Oracle applications as a technical and functional consultant. Then after that, I switched my technology to cloud platform. So from last six years, I'm working on cloud platform. That is about me guys. So let's have a quick introduction about yourself also. So let's take Arun. You, are un, you, are, you can unmute yourself and you can give a quick introduction about yourself. Or if you have any question, you can ask me. Arun, please unmute yourself. Okay. Anand. Hi, Ankit. Very good evening. Very good evening. Good evening, Anand. How are you? Yeah. yeah, I am doing good. Thank you for asking. And I hope you are also doing good. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Anand Sai. I have a total uh, 10 plus years of experience in IT industry. So, okay, yeah, and usually regularly I will work with uh, ClickQ, ClickSense, and Tableau infrastructure and operations support like uh, migration, uh, upgradation, and access things uh, uh, like that. So yeah, I would like to uh, enhance my technology things into a cloud technologies. So uh, because of this, I am also planning to move some different cloud techno in cloud technologies. Oh. Thank you. Do you have any question regarding the training? Uh, yeah, as of now, uh, there is no question, but uh, you already make a, some, uh, the content list, it's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, it's fine. And uh, is there uh, like, uh, is the timings the same 5.30 to 6.30 six, or 6.30 to 7.30? to 7.30. Timings is yeah. always six, uh, for this current batch, which we are taking it. Timing is 6.30 to 7.30. 6.30 to 7.30. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Okay. And also, it was mentioned in that one around forty. Anything else, Anand? Eight. Yeah, nothing. Then apart from that, nothing. Yeah. Anand, your voice is. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's Anand. nothing. It's clear. Thank yeah. So, thank you, Anand. Okay. Let's have calf. Calf, you can unmute yourself. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. Sorry, good evening, Ken. Good evening, sir. How are you, sir? How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? Hi, I'm fine, sir. And how are you? I'm good, too. Hello. Yes, Cap. Do, yes, Cap. do you have any question? No, sir. Uh, I have just completed C language. And uh, moreover, I don't know even have a cloud. Yes, Cap. I'm new in cloud. I don't know anything in cloud. cloud. Okay, so can you give your introduction about yourself? What yes, you I have done? Yes, sir. I, I am fresher. I have uh, completed BCom in last, uh, 2021. Okay, anything else? Yeah, I have completed C language, sir, till now. Okay. Thank you, Gav. Yes, Chandra, Re, uh, Chandra Reddy. Uh, unmute. Yeah, hi, Ankit. Uh, this is Chakral. As of now, uh, uh, I'm working in RCC with uh, two years of experience uh, with the functional testing. So I don't what have any idea on cloud. Uh, what experience do you have? Functional testing. Okay. okay. Yeah. So can I, uh, uh, I mean, can I shift to the cloud and uh, uh, if I'm able to learn or not, I'm not sure. Uh, but definitely, I need to learn and I need to uh, shift to the cloud why because it is an updating uh, definitely, the, definite, definitely Chakra you can learn cloud anyone even any, anyone can learn cloud and right now to talk about everyone is moving to cloud because if future if I talk about after three or five four years it always we are cloud platform My, yeah. there are other things are very less but definitely there will be a 
cloud so it okay. is a right time it's a good time so easily you guys can move it you guys can get job because if i talk about after 3 4 years yeah definitely it will be more difficult because at that time there will be a lot of people who love cloud that time jobs will be might be less but right now as we talk about the current situation it is very good so it's the right time you can switch to the cloud platform and you can get easily yeah. you will get the jobs also yeah and there is one more question whether it is yes. an only aws or aws with the devops no this is complete aws trading are you in that whatsapp group which you have joined that batch a2 yeah. If you yes, check the I course have. content, it's completely about AWS. That okay. VPC, whatever we are going to learn about in VPC or out of that complete AWS thing, nothing about DevOps in this trade. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's it from my end. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Baskar, you can unmute yourself. Hi, uh, hi Ankit. Uh, this is Baskar. So I'm a SaaS technical manager at uh, HCL UK. So I have, you know, some sort of uh, cloud experience. So where I have okay. done some courses. And now uh, uh, on the data science front, I know I worked for a few years and computed some Azure data certification as well. So that's good. My client is, uh, you know, moving to uh, AWS. So I'm just more, uh, just I have a little bit of basic knowledge as I went some, uh, uh, theoretical stuff over the cloud uh, portals or something. So I'm just, uh, but my background is basically on SaaS, typical data warehousing. So, uh, so is this the, so what in the AWS side, so what is the best way I can uh, glow, uh, like go like is from- For it? Bhaskar, for you, I tell you, there is actually a very good thing which help you to enhance your career. After yeah. learning of this training, actually what you can do with more with this thing, because right now for associate is mandatory. If you want to go move forward, associate right. is mandatory. After okay. that, you can learn a service called Redshift. Okay. Right. Or okay. there might be, you have heard about Snowflake. Yes, Snowflake. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Any of the two things you can go forward. Because okay. serially speaking, rather than serially speaking, I prefer you go for Snowflakes. Snowflakes. Oh, Snowflakes is like a database, right? So data, right? no, it is data warehousing service. It's a cloud data warehousing service which work on AWS. It can work right. on Azure. It can work on GCP. Okay, okay. If so right. I, I know. Uh, let me complete. I know yeah. lot of DBS because I work from Oracle background. Seriously, right. I know lot of DBS. So yeah. all I have heard talk with all of them. And they have 20, 20 years of experience currently in the market in as Oracle DBA. So they all are planning to switch to cloud and they all are thinking to switch to Snowflakes. Right. Even okay. if we have, if we are talking, I have already learned, even I know Snowflakes also, but I didn't work till now. I just have knowledge. I have here taken training, all the things, but I didn't work till now. But yes, Snowflakes is very good in the market. They are very good as per the date, those are DBS. But even to learn Snowflakes also, if you have AWS, Azure or GCP, any of the knowledge, that is actually a good thing you have. Okay, uh, I have a small query, sorry for that. Yes, that's good. Uh, dearly, I have now 16 years experience in SaaS. So, I mean, and uh, like, just as I told, literally I've done some cloud privacy for the clients on RFP side or something. So, so getting a full cloud transformation at 16 years, is, is it fine or, or like how the market will demand the experience? Definitely, uh, Baskar, you have 16 years of experience. So you directly, if you go for, because if you directly go and they'll think that you are a fresher, so it is not possible to get a job. So definitely yeah. you need to put three or four years or three or four is sufficient. But don't, don't put more than three, four years of experience because if you put that time, it will be difficult for you to clear the interview, Bhaskar. But if you go for the three, four experience with this training or whatever more you can go for, I'm 100% sure easily you'll get a job. Okay. And Bhaskar, may I know your current location? UK. UK. Okay. Thank you. Anything else, Bhaskar? No, that's fair. Uh, so red, red, Redshift is like more... ETL. It's also data warehousing service. Redshift oh, right. is also data warehousing service or Snowflakes. Any, I 
you can go for as per your choice you can go for any one of that but if i talk about my preference i always suggest go for snowflakes so because rather than red shift snowflakes is far better than red shift and if i talk about the current situation is also even though person having snowflake experience and red shift snowflakes person is getting it better package also rather than a person having red shift experience so the current trailing is aws associate so which is give the uh, entire you know um, angle of uh, aws platform on the associates yeah correct okay. correct okay okay thank you basket yeah. thank you have a nice thank day thanks a lot okay. yeah. sushant hello hi hi sushant uh, uh, yeah uh, i am uh, i have total 5 years of experience in uh, transmission networking okay so i am currently working in huawei technology india private limited okay so i don't know about uh, cloud i don't know about basic of cloud so uh, i want to learn very briefly and don't worry this is this training is all about from starting from the basic to go to advanced might be if you did you see the course content sushant sorry did you see the course content yeah yeah I, I... in the course content also if you see here everything is mentioned it very clear way and the complete course content is all about very simple and then slowly will go to some advanced concepts also into that training i'll show you in the end of the session i'll show you the course content again i'll explain the course content also. okay so okay. after this course uh, can i change my job right so uh, can i change my job yeah yeah easily you can clear the interview after that okay okay, okay. thank you thank you that's it for me okay thank you okay. and uh, yogi yogi are you able to hear me Yogi, you can unmute yourself. Uh, hello. Hi, Yogi. Good evening. Hello, Ankit. Yes, Yogi, are you able to hear me? No, Ankit, am I audible? Yes, yes, I'm able to hear you. Yogi, I am able to hear you. Are you able to hear me? Yogi, are you able to hear me? Yeah, yes. Yes, you can ask your question if whatever you have. Yeah, my name is Sushant, and my name is Yogi. Both which I am. Your voice is very low, Yogi. It's very difficult to hear. Okay. Might be you're far away from that mic. Is it fine? Is it fine now? Yes, it is fine now. Okay. My name is Sushant, and my name is Yogi. Both which I am. And it is just complicated for you. Diploma, Sorry, your voice is again. It's low. Might be you are looking. It's look like you are far away from the mic. Um, let me connect from my headset. You may sometimes. So you. May okay, so I uh, I will talk till the time. I'll talk with someone. Sure. Okay, no issue. Manoja. uh hi actually i am having i mean actually i am a fresher just i have it's been 5 months i have joined in the corporate okay in which corporate you have joined ah uh, sorry in which corporate you have joined uh capgemini oh that's good yeah, so actually uh, i have deployed into the networks project okay so i want to change uh, to aws after one year i mean so will it be possible if we if i learn this course and uh, i learn this course yes manoja you can learn this course and even what you can do is after joining it you already joined in that company you yes. can move from that whatever currently you are doing it in these company if i talk about infosys capgem need deloitte whatever is this company in this there is a good thing is what you can do is you can switch your technology so in they are what they are doing it they are giving it internal promotions 
So mm-hmm. you don't need to even switch that company. In the same company, when you can switch your technology, whatever currently mm-hmm. you are having, from that no, you can move to AWS. I want, I want to switch the company. After that, even you want to switch company, you can go for that also. That's completely your choice. But mm-hmm. if you don't want to change the company, you can move from that one technology to other technology in the same company also. The, uh, these big companies having that one advantage, so you don't need to change company. In the same company, you can move forward. Yep, but uh, but my I mean I want to switch the company as soon as uh, you know I complete my one year. So that is the thing I want. That, that after one you want to change company, you definitely you can change that also. So will it will this course be helpful to clear all the interviews? I mean? Correct, correct. Yes, this training will help for you to clear the interview, and after even after the training, I'll give you a lot of interview questions which you can read it. I'll give you some quiz which you can do it, which helpful you to clear the interview also because in the interview they can ask you some. Sometimes they ask you logic question also. So for those logic question, what I have done is I have created some quiz, so which help you to understand those logics which they can ask you in the interview also. Will it be helpful to clear certification? This training will not help you to clear the certification, but this training will help you to how you need to work in real time. For certification, you can take a help of doubts. Okay. Okay, and okay. the quiz which I have created, yes, those in those quiz, some questions are from. Which I have put it from dumps also in that quiz, so it helps you to more understand about the dumps, which easily you can practice it, those things. Can I put my one year of prayer experience in AWS or not needed for me? No, if you if you want to put, it will be easy. If like you are currently working and you can put one years of experience, then it will be easy for you to switch the company, switch the job. Mm-hmm. If you put that, will be easy for you. If you are not putting, that is also okay. But that time you go for as a fresher. Ah uh, no no no! I am asking about uh, if if I put uh, on AWS, my experience on AWS not on networks. Ah, uh, that's what I am telling you. If you put one years of experience, that will be easy for you to switch the organization, and you'll get a good package. But if you go for without that any experience, you will they will consider you as a fresher. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. So you yeah. can put one year of experience after even after that training also easily. Even actually, you can even with this training after you can put easily two to three years of experience. But you have done one year, so you can put only one years of experience. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Divya. The way you can unmute yourself. Yeah. Hi, Ankit. Am I audible? Yes, yes. I'm able to hear you. Yeah. Myself, Divya, and uh, recently I completed my master's in English. It's quite a strange to shift to completely different field, but however, I'm much more interested in this field. So I, I my one of my friends suggested me to switch for AWS. Okay. So I'm trying for my level best to get into it. So could you just uh, tell me, tell me like uh, how I could uh, do much in this or like what scope I will be getting? No, can you repeat your question again, sorry, Vivya? Like I'm a completely fresher. Uh, okay. I have completed my UG in BSc Computer Science. However, okay. I hold a background from Computer Science. And after okay. BSc, I did my PG in Masters in English, as I mentioned. Okay. So, do you think it's a uh, good for me to change completely from uh, English background to IT sector or something like this? Yes, you can do that with the help of this training. You can easily clear your interview also, and I'll guide you how to go for the interview. Means whatever we are going to learn in the training, you just need to practice those things, and with the help of that, easily you can clear the interview. And the interview question which I am giving you, that just you need to read about that. Do no need to learn anything from that interview question. Just thoroughly read it because. I tell you one thing. Training is all about understand the concepts. Because if you easily understand the concepts, you can easily do whatever you want to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. So this training will help you to clear the and un- clear the your doubts and understanding the concept. Because most people have a different view that 
I need live training. I need real time training. I need this training, this type of training. No, training is all about clearing the concept. So this, I am hundred percent sure this training will help you to understand the concept, whichever you want to understand it. So okay, that okay. I am hundred percent sure. Okay. Okay, uncle. Yeah, uncle. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Devi. Yeah, thank you so much, uncle. Yes, Yogi, you can unmute yourself now. Yeah, hi, Ankit. Yeah, your voice mm. is hundred percent clear. Yeah. Ankit, just I want to know brief about yourself and how much experience you have. And before I have that, total I... nine years of experience. And in nine years of experience, first three years is Oracle applications. And from last six years, I'm working in cloud platform. Oh, very good experience. And um, yeah, may I know uh, your location? Chandigarh, Punjab. Okay. Punjab. Okay. Uh, actually, Ankit, I have two years experience in Java development. Just I want to know how it is useful this AWS. So I completely the Java my background. Um, yes. And uh, my nephew also joined. He is just completed Polytechnic diploma three years course. He's just nineteen years old. What he uh, has completed? Sorry, which diploma? Polytechnic triple E. Okay. Uh, just 19 years old. So I want okay. to bring up in the AWS side. I don't know mm -hmm. uh, much about the AWS and how it is useful for him and for me also in my company, especially my architect, they are saying to do certification, 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 just only for promotions. As a real time, uh, I'm, I'm a lead actually project lead. So okay. I know uh, how much it is useful for AWS because in, in mine is big company. So we are not use, um, working on the AWS, completely development. Okay. Uh, DevOps team, separate team is there. Okay. Um, how it is different from company, I don't know. Uh, just I want to know uh, AWS, the features, and uh, how it is useful for me and for my nephew. And for my for your nephew, I'm not much about sure about because what he has done because of course which you're telling, I'm not much aware of that course actually. No the diploma. No. What is that? I, I what is that? I know not not sure about. What is that polytech um, course? Here? No, it in Andhra Pradesh Polytechnic is like a technical course after tenth standards, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. It's a technical st actually. Okay, it's like like we, like we have a B, B, B Tech or BCA something like that. Is it correct? And no, like after B after completed Polytechnic directly, they will go to the B Tech second year. Oh, not from first year. That is okay. different. Like technology. that is different thing actually because if, if I talk about serial but but North North India. We don't have my like this type of code. Like in, in North India, we have big tech or BCA. We can like this type of things. We have it. We can go for that. My okay. course night right now we have it in that, but I'm not sure. How we, about okay. How it is the jobs for uh, diploma course? for freshers? Uh, uh, for freshers, for right? Yeah. For but right now, seriously speaking, he has done that diploma. But right now, which I have seen currently as per the market for fresher, they're always looking for a person who has done big tech or BCA. Okay. They're always looking it, but for him, it's little difficult to get a job because he has done a diploma. Okay. But for that one, he need to do B Tech or BC. It will be easy for get a job. Okay. okay. He will continue. He is studying. He will. Uh, yeah. He will go. And in my that case, yeah. In, in yeah. My for case, your case, you can easily look because they are your team is correct to get a promotion because you have already very good experience in Java. So if you switch your technology, so you will get more mm -hmm. hike in your salary. No, actually, I do not want. I do not want to switch from Java. Just I want to continue in no, Java. And you can parallelly go for both because even those people are not from the IT background. Not even they can also go for AWS because it's just like options, whichever you want to select, mm -hmm. and based on that you can go for that. If you know oh. Java, that is actually an additional benefit you have it. With Java, if you have, if you know AWS, that is good for you. Yeah, that's why I'm joining in this session. So I completed associate level, uh, Sunil explained, and now I join in architect level because uh, my next designation is I will become the architect. Okay. So, yeah, okay, thank you, thanks, uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, Gayatri, you can unmute yourself. Uh, hi, Ankit. Is, hi, Gayatri. Is this audible? Yes, yes. Yeah, actually, I'm working in Oracle from Bangalore. Uh, in so, which like Oracle, Oracle application, Oracle ODI? No, middleware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. middleware. 
so Oracle strongly recommends OCI, and you do knew that I guess. So yes, in, correct. In learning, because that from if Oracle has their own OCI. Yeah. Yeah, so I know that. I have completed OCI Architect Associate certification. So oh, that's good. And uh, so how far this AWS will be working in Oracle? Because I don't want to switch the organization. And no, I, no, can you repeat your question again? I don't want to switch my organization from Oracle. So okay. this AWS, how can I bring into this Oracle? No, in which, right now you're working in which company, guys? In which organization? Oracle, Oracle only. Okay, they are directly working in Oracle organization in Bangalore. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. So you want to switch to, you don't want to switch to Oracle to AWS. Or you want to, how you can go for AWS with Oracle? Yeah, exactly. That depends on the Gayatri client to client also very. Because if I talk about a cloud, if I just talk about cloud Gayatri, AWS is leader in the market. Then we have Azure, then we have GCP. Then after that, at fourth or might be a fifth place, OCI is coming. Mm -hmm. That you might be aware of that. So there is no comparison of AWS and OCI currently, if I talk about right now the market, because AWS is having it better services rather than OCI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that. So there is no comparison if I, I can go for both the tech, both the platforms, actually. Okay. So both what are is different. a better option after, after learning this a, AWS? Better is surely if how the AWS is better because they are leaders in the market, actually. Okay, so I need to switch the organization, right? Definitely for that one. Because Oracle will not go for AWS. Yeah, that's the thing. So I can't say in like interviews also that I have worked on AWS. That's, yes, you, that is also that is also correct. But actually, that is a complete big problem, actually. You can I, I can say that. Okay. Because in the interview, you can't because you are working in Oracle organization. And like, if you work on Infosys or Deloitte might be that time, you can say that I worked last from last three years. I'm working in AW because they have multiple projects mm -hmm. there. You can say that. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Gayatri. Okay. Gayatri, you can mute yourself. Thank you. Gayatri. Let's have one or two more interaction. Yes, this the three. You can unmute yourself. The three are able to hear me. You can unmute yourself. I've seen your message. Yes. Hi, Angie. My name is How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. So I just wanted to ask you that uh, I have been working in non IT since from four years. So uh, I want to shift to AWS cloud, but I'm a little confused that uh, which uh, which cloud I should choose. Like uh, I, I mean, I by myself I learned AWS cloud. So uh, to which cloud uh, the market is uh, giving more weightage? Like we have Azure, GCP, and the AWS cloud, right? AWS is leader in the market. Okay. okay. If I talk about Azure, Azure is the second, mm -hmm. and then we have GCP. So these three are the topmost clouds which we have in the market. Okay, but but as I said, that AWS is uh, 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 I mean uh, uh, AWS has a more priority in the market, right? So the competition, Correct. so the competition will also be high for for jobs uh, for jobs to all the employees. And a, and job more job, if you have more competition, it means you have more jobs in AWS as compared to Azure and GCP. It's generally speaking, if I talk about India, you are mm -hmm. from India or from which country? I'm from India. I'm from Hyderabad. Uh, if I talk about India, in India, AWS having more jobs in the market as compared to Azure and GCP. Okay. Okay. If, yeah. if I talk about US, the person who is in US might be they have more jobs in Azure and GCP. They have, I can say not say that more, but equal number of jobs which we have it. But if I talk about India and India, AWS has more jobs. Okay. 
Uh, so one more doubt, I just saw the PDF that you have shared. So so for the AWS cloud, uh, uh, you know, li Linux is more important. I mean, in Linux, we have scripting language and programming languages. If, if you uh, know, no, not very much required, but if you know basic Linux, that is an advantage you have it because basic Linux is 100% required to work on cloud. We don't, not much in more depth you require it. So basic Linux, whatever the commands, I'm going to use it. I'll show you that and I'll let you know why we are using this command. And mm -hmm. at the end of the training, I'll give you some uh, commands which you can learn it and which help you to grow it. Okay. But 100 more Linux is not required. It's very basic is required, which actually we learn it in our training when we are learning about those concepts. That time you can easily unlearn, understand those commands. Okay, so uh, one more thing I find in the PDF, PDF is RDS, but this, uh, uh, you know, RDS is belongs to the DevOps, right? So I'm from non- no, RDS is a database. RDS is a database. Yeah. Relational just, database service. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but I'm uh, I'm from non IT, right? So for me, it is difficult to learn about the programming languages and how- No, does... we, do, we are not, in this one, we are not using any programming language. RDS is a database, so you just need to select that option and based on the client requirement, you're, you can create the database. You don't need yes. to even write any SQL queries, nothing like that. Just a it, basic that's awesome. understanding of the database is required. Okay, only just for knowledge purpose, uh, you are teaching us uh, RDS, right? No, it's not for basic one. I'm completely showing you how we need to create a database. Just a basic understanding of the database is required to learn about RDS. So that I'll, I'll let you know what is that actually RDS, what are the basic in sub, what are the basic requirement you require it. I'll let you know those things also. Because uh, let me show you that also, just a minute. Yeah, I have, I've created a PPT for that one. And that with the help of this PPT, you can easily understand what is it, what is RDS and what the benefits of that one. So just it's understanding it. And then how to create the database that completely practical you need to do. This training is mostly about practical. 90% of the training is practical. This 10% is just to understand the concept. So if I talk about RDS, so you need to understand basic concept first. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't so worry, don't worry about that in this in AWS, there is not much any programming or we need to write some codings or nothing like that. Don't worry about that. No coding is required. Yes. But if I talk about basic Linux is required, that mm -hmm. which will definitely use it in our training. Okay. So as I said, I have four years of experience in non id So uh, after this course, can I convert this experience into AWS? Yes, you can put it easily. Two, three years of experience easily put it and then you can switch your job also. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Thank you, Angit. Anything okay. else? Okay. Thank you, this. Well, let's have one more interaction. Laura, you can unmute yourself. Hi, sorry. Um, I'm actually in the US. I have um, one year of experience as a business analyst, and I'm trying to transition to AWS. Um, I want to ask first, the first question I have is, how long is the duration I might have joined it? I would like to know the duration of the course. The duration of this course is 40 days. Okay. 40 and days means uh -huh. for, it means from today, today the first day, till next 40 days, we will continue with this training. Okay. It means, I'm it, thinking it, means, like... it means it will be near about 30, 30 to 31 sessions will be there. Okay, and is, is it every day? No, only Monday to Friday. Okay. Only Monday and to Friday. Okay. Yes. And the next question I have is how do I, as a business analyst, what are some of the, I was thinking either DevOps or AWS, which one is usually preferable to go with? You no, know, to learn DevOps, you don't need to require AWS. To learn AWS, DevOps is not required. So both are different courses. Don't mix both the courses. Both are different courses, but yes, if you know both DevOps and AWS, that is an advantage for you having. But both are different things. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's have one more interaction. 
Sushant, there is no weekend batches. We have it. We have just only weekdays batches. Okay, let me just check some messages. I got it. Uh, Bhaskar, you have question. One more question. What is the difference between? Bhaskar, that I am not sure what Sunil is teaching. The question is about that. What is the difference between my training and Sri? That is not my part of the job to compare it. So you have both the course content. You can check what he's teaching, but I am teaching it. I know what I am teaching. I don't know what he is teaching it. I'll show you my course content in the end of this session. I'll show you that you can check and might be you have his course content. You can compare that also. Mehbub, this course is about associate level training. And in this training, there are some things which I have added, which is belongs to professional also. Few things I have added because sometimes you need to do that work also. But this most of the training is all about associate. Few things are there a little bit, not much about that. Like I have added a service called SCS, which is belong to professional and migrating on premises VM to AWS. That is also belongs to professional level. So few things are there with the help of you can learn it from professional also. Safraz, I'll show you that how many services there are. 25, 26 services we are going to cover it. I'll show you that. This is associate level training, guys. Okay, let's. I Mabu, just for wait for a few minutes. I'll show you that course content. Just wait for a few minutes. Or if you are in that WhatsApp group which we have created, you can check the group description of that one. Or I'll show you that just for wait for a few minutes. Okay, so now uh, we'll start with our session. So first of all, we need to get before learning of AWS, we need to understand what is cloud computing. Cloud computing refers to a, a network or you can consider it as a internet. In other words, we can say that cloud is something which present at remote, remote, remote location means this complete cloud is not in our location. That completely is on the different location because we don't know that where our cloud is there. So that completely cloud, which we are using it, our, we can connect our mobile phones, the laptops, whichever we have it, we can connect with the help of internet. Means our website, whichever we are using it, it all store at some other location, the databases which we are using it store. So where it is getting stored, definitely in some of the computer. And we are accessing it, how we are accessing it? With the help of internet. So we are thinking that is cloud. Cloud is also like a infrastructure, the machine, the servers, they have it. With the help of that, we are able to connect. Now, let me... Now, here we have some features of cloud, automatic, economy, security, pay as you go, easy maintenance, on-demand services. These are the some features of cloud computing we have. I know that there are some person are freshers or some person have some other type of experience. They are not able to understand these terminologies. But yes, when we go for learning about AWS, that time, you can easily understand about the features also, about these feature. If you want to read the complete definitions, I'll provide you the definitions also, which is there in the below of the PPT. So when you get PPT, you can read that also. But no need to read right now, guys. Because if you read right now, you definitely get confused because right now you don't know about these AWS or anything about cloud. So when you learn about the cloud in the end of the training, you can read about this so you can easily understand what are what these features actually we have it in cloud platforms. Now, we have multiple types of clouds. The first type of cloud is deployment. Second type of cloud is service model. In service model also we have three, IAAS, SAAS, T double AS. In deployment model, we have three types, public, 
hybrid and private. These are the types of clouds which we have. Now, if I talk about deployment, we have three types. These are the three types which we have. Public cloud, where we can create our own servers. Like in AWS, we have a service called EC2. What is EC2? Where we are creating our own virtual machines. So we can access with the help of Putty or remote desktop, we can access that computer from our system that is called public cloud. Private cloud is like AWS, AWS, Azure, Oracle, GCP, these are private clouds we have. So in private clouds, we are going to create our own public clouds we can use. Hybrid clouds, which is combination of public and private. Public means which some of the services we have it on AWS, some of the services we have it on our own network. So combination of both the one is called hybrid cloud, which actually we are using it in real time also. Now, types of services, IAAS, AWS, Azure, GCP, these are IAS services. In AWS, we have a service called Elastic Beanstack. That service is known as platform as a service. Platform as a service, so we just get a platform from AWS. Whatever we want to do, we just upload our code and everything automation done by the AWS. So we just get a platform. We just need to upload our code. We can do like, uh, I'm not forget the name of the person who asked me that I am a Java developer. So you are a Java developer, you know the Java, just you know only Java, you don't know about AWS. So what you can do in AWS Beanstack, you can upload your code. So whatever with your code, the application needs to get created, it's completely created by the AWS itself. You don't need to do anything. You just need to upload your code in the AWS. That is called as platform as a service. Software as a service, we all are using it Gmail. Yahoo, Hotmails, these things are known as software as a service. So these are the types of clouds which we have in the market. Now coming to AWS. So when AWS is started, AWS is started on 2006. This is the first cloud services which we are getting in the market and it is having a total 25 regions regions we considered we can as a country one country is considered as one region so in 25 countries they have their own servers which we can use it to work our one now here if you want to see the complete map here we have let me show you that map So here we have North America map. So if you want to see North America, here we can see that. This is North America where we have it. See here, this is the first region which AWS has created in 2006. It's the launch they have. And these are the North America we have it. And if I talk to South America, let's come here. Here are the one. So which I have see that blue dots, which you are able to see here, these are regions. Sorry, the blue dots are edge locations. Uh, orange are about the regions. What is edge location? You will understand when we are learning about a service called S3, that time. And here are the one in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Here are the one which we have it. And if I come to Asia Pacific, here we have. In India, we have just only one region, and but we have total three edge locations. We have it in, sorry, four edge location. This is also coming in the data. These are the regions and edge locations map which we have. What is edge location? We'll completely learn in our upcoming sessions. I am getting a lot of messages that will you share the document for preparation yet guy don't worry about that i'll share 
all the documents whichever i am going to use in this training i have total 80 ppts which i am going to use in this training if you see here 80 ppts i'll share all these 80 ppts with you guys with these 80 ppts you will get recordings 80 ppt with 80 ppts you will get aws dump which is s double a c02 and one aws book also which you will get what is that book book which i have created that book means whatever we are going to learn in this training you can easily learn the same things with the help of that book also this book will help you to in future if you have any doubt you can with the help of that you can easily clear your doubts also let me just show you that also then we'll move forward here this is that one it's 786 pages book is there so whatever we are learning it it's completely in this book also you have in future also if you have any doubt you can even check this book so this also you will get now let me move forward now whenever we are creating aws account we are getting total three types of subscriptions into that 12 months free always free trial 12 months free means those services are always free for 12 months always free which is even after 12 months also they are free for some limitation they are giving it based on that it will free trial services which whenever we are creating our aws account few services are only free for 30 days means whenever we are creating our account from the next 30 days few services are free few services are only free for 90 days just only for few period they will give you the access of the service in the free one after that if you want to use you need to pay for if you want to see the complete details here are the link which i am going to show you if it's a to you free trial 12 months always free if you want to check here on the left side we are getting option i can select the check box for which service i want to check 12 months free so here i can see how much free is for 12 months in this is the quota which you are able to see the 5 gb 750 so here you can see this is per month quota we have given to us and this is these services are free for 12 months there are more you can just check second third fourth page also and which are always free here also you can see these are always free means if i talk about lambda service they are giving it 1 million request per month free means if you go for more than 1 million then you need to pay for otherwise for 1 million it's free for same as sns also simple notification service and there are the last one right here we have. so which we have discussed it red shift it's free only for two months one service is only free for 40 hours so like this they are just giving service only for the trial period like here we have a service called light sale which is free for three months free trial 750 hours so like this there are service types of services which aws has created now we have discussed it about this also the aws is a leader you can see here there is a research which going on as per the market aws is the leader microsoft is the second one google is a third one fourth one is alibaba then in fifth one oracle we have. and then we have it the last one these are the mass per the market we have so aws is the number one cloud which we have this which we are able to see this is done on the july 2020 and if you want to see the latest one you can click here i don't think so we are getting it currently right now after that july 2021 i still this is the same one we have it here we can see that also yes yeah, sure so the shell july 2021 we are able to so it's same so as we can see the difference from aws to microsoft 
how much far it is there. Now, coming to the list of services which you asked me, guys, how many services we are going to learn in this training? Here is that complete list of services. One, two, three, and six. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, and twenty three services which we are going to learn. These are the services which we are going to learn in this complete forty days of training. Duration is near about forty days. E session will be near about one hour, Monday to Friday. Schedule time, which we have discussed it, which I mentioned in the group also, which is 6.30 p.m. IST to 7.30 p.m. IST. This is the timing of our everyday session. And each session will get recording. You can get the recording. You can play that recording and you can learn from these recording, whichever we are going to share it. Yes, and with session, I have already told you what things I am going to provide you: the recordings, PPTs, dump, and that AWS book also. And definitely, which is sample resumes, which you will get interview questions. You will get these are the very common things which you. Get. And let me come to the course content. Shant, of course, AWS is better in the market. Listen, let me open it from somewhere. Ah, here is that course content. So the first service which we are going to learn in this training is about EC2 service, which we are going to learn that one. Then we learn about how we can generate PPK file with the help of AWS account. To generate PPK file, we have actually two options. One is with Putigen, other one is we can generate with the help of AWS account also. So we'll both way, we need to learn how we need to generate those PPK files, how we need to generate that we'll learn. PPK file is help us to connect our AWS machines with our system, we can do that. I'm not taking any mock test. I'm going to give some quiz guys in the end of the training. You can use those quiz. It can consider as a mock test also. But those are quiz which you can attempt n number of times. I'll provide you that one quiz. I'll show you that PPT just in the last. I'll show you that PPT also. And then we learn about servers which we can create it, Windows server, Linux server. Then we have web servers. And here we learn about how we can transfer our local machine files to these servers. It's very important to learn these things to Linux one and to Windows one, because in real time, we need to transfer lot of files in the server. So how we can do that? That completely we are going to learn it. Because in the upcoming session, when we learn about a service called VPC, here we have a service called VPC. At that time, we need to transfer some files by learning it. So if you don't know about that one, that time it will be very difficult for you to understand. That is why first here we are learning about how we can transfer those files. And then web servers, we have two types of web server, Linux, Windows, that we are going to learn, boot, scrap strips, and then we have multiple types of elastic load balancer. Classic load balancer, application load balancer, network load balancer. So all three types of load balancer, we are going to learn it. Then we have auto scaling system checks. And then scale up, scale down, protecting our instance from terminations. 
snapshots we have we can take multiple types of snapshots we can take snapshot to move to another region schedule snapshot amazon data life cycle manager with the help of that we can schedule our snapshot means old snapshot automatically get deleted and new snapshot will get deleted as per our time with the help of data life cycle creating custom amis ec2 alarm launch an instance from template tags cli and now here we learn about a very important thing loss key pair key pair is like a password key pair is like a password if you lost that password we are not able to connect to our cloud machines whichever we are going to create so if you lost the password how you can connect that is very important so how we can recover those passwords so that here we need to learn it then we have elastic beam stack service and then we have a lambda service also these are the services which we are going to learn under compute and if i talk about storage we have three types of storage service ebs efs and then we have s3 so these are the things we are going to learn under s3 wo bucket policy transfer acceleration replication object lock how we can connect our s3 bucket with win scp because guys whenever we have a large object let's say i have a 2 gb object if i want to upload with the help of that website it takes lot of time guys so with the help of win scp it takes lesser time because in our upcoming session when we are going to learn about on premises vm2 aws at that time we need to transfer a 2 gb file to s3 bucket when you transfer one 2 gb file that file is called ova file will require it so we need to transfer it so how we can transfer with the help of winsc and then we have iem service we can learn it we can learn about multi factor means to whenever i want to log in with my account it asks for multiple passwords which we can enable with the help of mobile application there is a mobile application you guys need to install in your mobile with the help of that you can log in it to your aws so if anyone is trying to crack up anyone will crack your password they can't even log in with that one password they need another password which you will get only from that mobile so both the passwords are required and then we have vpc service ppc subnets internet gateway route tables bastion host nat gateway nacl infernal ports and here some important things analyzer with the help of analyzer we can easily track if our vpc get down where actually i can check it get down i don't need to check the complete path of my vpc with the help of that it will give you the path that where you just need to check easily you can check and then vpc peering means multiple vpc you can create you can attach all the vpc at one point end point vpc end point flow logs vpn configuration vpn configuration real time we guys are not using internet the normally which we are using it in real time we are always using vpn so how we can configure vpn with aws that we need to and here we have a vpn called open vpn which is provided by the aws which is free one also for us that one we are going to use it. and then here we have amazon athena service amazon athena is like a sql language so for here we'll with the help of sql language will work on athena if you know sql that's good guys if you don't know just a very basic sql is required we'll learn it what you guys require it in that time then we have route 53 in route 53 we have some policies that we need to discuss and here we will practically see those policies and in that one we can learn about how we can connect third party domains with aws third party domain means let's say your company has purchased a domain from godaddy or from any other website or from hostinger or any other website they have purchased 
they don't want to move their domain to aws if they want to move that is actually good thing they can do but if they don't want to do move how you can connect your third party domain with aws that we learn and then here we have about database how many types of databases we have it in aws and under aws databases how many services we have here we need to discuss that one and then we'll create our own rds instance here and then we learn about dynamo and here we have some small services crowd trial trusted advisor cloud front simple notification service simple queue service calculator event bridge cloud formation simple email server email service is used for promotions right now the companies which they want to do any promotion they are sending bulk emails how they are sending it with the help of simple email service cloud watch service we have that we learn under that cloud watch we learn about lot of things we have it then aws backup aws data sync on premises vm to aws aws snow aws budget these are services we are going to learn and then in the end i'll show you one project okay that one and then i'll give you these quiz with the help of these quiz you can practice it n number of time which help for you to clear the interview guys and to understand the concepts also whichever we are learning it means because in this quiz you have some logic questions also you have it guys now let me show you that ppt which i was talking about that quiz one yes see here we have compute storage iam vpc route 53 database these are the quiz which i have already created so you can just click on that link you will move to that quiz and then you can do that and in the ppt already are there so you need you need to ask to anyone please share me resumes you will get from here interview question linux commands which i told you i'll share you in the end and book and that down so you need to ask to my team please share with us even whenever in future that dump get updated any time you can download from this is we have about our course container these are the services guys which we are going to learn it no there is no concept we are going to migrate from aws to local but from local to aws that we are going to learn it and i didn't heard about there is a concept, any concept which we are going to learn from we require from aws to local we don't require it because clients who needs to move to it yes sir for the project which we are going to learn it's like a, a website we are going to create it and the website is going to connect with your database it means the website whatever the entries you are going to do it that entries you can see in your database also now if anyone have any question they can raise your hand please so no no guess you can guys now raise your hand please okay naresh ask yes naresh you can unmute yourself hi ankit hi good evening naresh yeah good evening ankit uh, this is naresh and dot uh, in it having around uh, 8.5 year of experience in mainframe okay. and the aws uh ankit i uh, thank you for giving me this uh, overview of the aws and i just uh, have some idea on what are the services you are going to uh, give the uh, details my question here is <clears throat> the project you are going to show and the project you are going to give the demo that will contains what are the services that is the first the project, project in the end the last yeah. one <clears throat> Exactly. in that one we are going to go for vpc means which i have told you from basic to advanced one vpc mm -hmm. is the basic one which we are going to cover it rds so these two are the one and ec2 okay <clears throat> because vpc is a because whenever in real time we'll start anything the first thing what we need to do we need to create a vpc so that mm -hmm. will do it and then we'll go for rds in rds we learn about how we can create our database and how we can connect the database with our website because that is an important thing 
because when we are creating a website there is one name you need to give it if you mm-hmm. give anything wrong in that name the naming mm-hmm. convention is required in that one with the mm-hmm. help of that you can connect to that website so those things we'll going to learn it here in that project major are the these are the one we are going to do project which i'm going to show you and the one which i've told you on premises to vm which i've told you we are going to do that even you can consider that also as a project okay naresh naresh are you there Just say you can unmute yourself. Uh, Just say you can ask your question. Yeah, yeah. I forgot my question. Yeah, I got it now. So, so I heard that you know AWS console will update uh, you know every month or every every week. So, so we can't guess it. Like yes, you are correct. Yeah, you are correct. We can't even guess it that when they will update it. sometimes yeah. within two days sometimes within one month they mm-hmm. updated but uh, don't worry about let let, let me complete it don't worry about that one it's not they are not doing much changes a little bit changes they are doing okay but but, but if they add any op, any new option and we, we we are end of the course and the, if we appear for the interview don't so worry if about that ask, one if you if you have any question even after completion of the training I'll yeah. give you my email address. You can email me anytime. Don't worry about that. Sure. I'll help you in that one also. And okay. if anything get updated, I'll tell you one thing. Mm-hmm. If anything get updated, the document which I told you, I'm going to share with you guys. Yes. That it's seven hundred page document. In that document also, I will update it. Okay. Okay. The document. So I have given you uh, that link is in the PPT. This document link you have in the PPT. So you can download that updated document from that ATF PPT. Okay. okay let's say example in future i add some new services mm-hmm. okay if i add any new services in this training mm-hmm. or might be aws will add any new service in associate training they have added so definitely i'll add that in, in the document also so you have that link in the ppt you can download it from there and you can learn it also so you have that benefit of that document okay okay so so when when you will be showing you know how to create an aws account today or that, tomorrow so from tomorrow we'll continue on those okay, sure. thanks thank you thank you thank you so much yes balu sari you can unmute yourself yeah hi ankit uh, this is maruti kumar balusani uh, hi maruti hi. Uh, three and a half years of it experience as the administrator both linux and windows okay. so i want to learn uh, and switch the aws uh i i hope to, it will help for me our uh, my future uh, and uh, one more thing uh, i asked one question to you uh, suppose we created one machine in aws uh, mm-hmm. after that we don't have uh, our organization in lost on that time that entire data we have to move to local machine it is possible no it is not possible to move i no, i didn't work actually that this type of thing maruti Okay. I don't think so. It is possible to move from the data from that one. If if you lost it anything, so don't worry about that. That is a backup is enabled always from AWS, which always AWS is considered. So if anything get lost in the cloud, so AWS will take care of those things. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. Uh, in my previous organization, even if you see uh, here that we have discovered, we are learning about backup services also. Okay. AWS backup, we are learning it. Data sync. So these are the one we are going to learn. It these are backup services. Okay, uh, that backup uh, uh, from AWS to local or else in AWS only. AWS only in its AWS. Okay, <laughs> that is I am asking. That is complete in AWS. We are not going to take a backup on local one. But currently, right, if I talk about some of the clients, what they are doing, even they let's say they have a on premises infrastructure, but they they want to take go for backup. They use AWS as for your their backup actually. Okay. Cloud, they can consider as a backup, right? Now, if I talk about the clients, those are still in the market. They are using on-premises everything. Okay. Okay. In our previous organization, they have own data center. 
so mm. they supposed uh, they suggestion uh, from actually they some servers in aws so they have to move from aws to local so that is possible or not I, uh, they, that, is uh, that is that is possible actually if they want to move they let's say they want to shut down aws and then they want to move completely to, to their on premises yes definitely that will be possible that can be possible with the help of snow family actually okay so with help of snow family the devices which we have it based on that it will be possible normally okay. that there is no option of downloading anything there is not not like that okay okay but yes for that one you guys need to take a help of aws normally it is not possible because okay. they are help going to provide you those snow family devices okay thank you ankit thank you for your study. Yes, Naresh, you can unmute yourself now. Might we get might mistake you can do. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry, actually, I got done. I'm not sure. Yeah, so uh, one more thing. Uh, you said like uh, you will include the VPC, uh, RDS, and uh, uh, one EC2. more thing, EC2. So now question is RDS, you will miss whatever the services you are going to show and they uh, will use in the uh, demo. That will be free uh, only limited to free tier, or that will be on to the free tier. It's mostly it's free tier. Okay, because, let, because let me tell you, mm -hmm. you, you because some of the services like which I have told you, let me go to again, go to the course content again. Mm -hmm. I mentioned a one thing here in VPC called VPC analyzer. Exactly. Yeah, this costs you ten cents per analyzer. Tell you because so if you practice it, if you give maximum how much bill you will get it. If you practice it, you'll get near about two hundred bill, two hundred mm -hmm. rupees bill you can get that you can easily pay it. Not much you will get it, but yes, after you practice, delete those things because and one more thing, let like we want to learn about NAT gateway. To learn mm -hmm. about NAT gateway, we need to buy one IP address, elastic IP address. So okay. we have whatever for 10, 15 minutes or 20, 30 minutes. We are using it for that they will charge it. So after your practice, release that one. So maximum, okay. if I talk about you come for complete training, you maximum you will get 200 rupees, but not much more than that. But recently, okay. uh, I have completed one batch. I, I just get only 150 rupees bill from AWS. Mm -hmm. so I've paid that one. So don't worry okay. about it. You will not get much bill. Very little bit charges to like for analyzer or for that. Plastic IP you will get, but the <coughs> project which I am going to show you that is completely incoming under free time. Because uh, Ankit, actually, why I was asking that uh, RDS having a limited option for the free tier, right? Like we cannot uh, in, uh, enable the multi availability zones uh, replica. replica. So we don't require it for project. We don't require that is actually those things are required in real time actually. So we'll guide you how to enable it, but while practicing, don't enable it. Even I'm not going to enable it while giving you training. Okay. We don't need to enable those things while practicing it. Just you need yeah. to know the option. If you know yeah, the option, that is sufficient for your practice, Marish. Yeah, that I actually wanted to know. Me, so you will uh, enable uh, while you will give the demo. But uh, while I will, I will do the uh, practice. I will do the practice at that time. We should not do that. Don't worry about that one. Even I have, when I'm showing you, I will not enable those things because we don't require it for also. Because we just need to know the option. Because mm -hmm. in the interview, sometimes they can ask you where is that option. They can ask you, or while practicing it, you just need to know the option. Because in real time, when you want to work, you know that where is that option. So you need to you need to ask to some other person those. Things. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So don't worry about that. You will not get much bill if you after completion of this training. Okay. Okay. Thank Naresh. you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much. Okay, KSV Prasad. Yeah, hi. Uh, uh, actually, my question is, uh, uh, I have a doubt that uh, what is the difference between associate and sysops? Okay, that is, I'm not aware of because I'm not working as system operations, so I can't give you that difference between about that one or in AWS associate. Because to work on that one, I need to work on that one. I didn't work on those things. I can't answer this question to you. Okay. You are again getting it. Hey, Prasad, you can unmute yourself. Yes, Prasad. 
if it yes you is a question clear because both are different levels we are working on associate level that is system operation is completely different okay okay i got it yep. thank you yeah altaf ayankit uh, altaf they said yes i guess all that you can ask your question yeah i have 10 years of experience in data center and uh, i am working in ems and ms domain so i want to move to uh, cloud so uh, how much effort or uh, means uh, what uh, courses are required for me to move and get a job in uh, cloud uh, operations sorry can you tell if you can you repeat your question again i have uh, 10 years of experience in data center in okay. ems and ms uh, um, domain okay and now i uh, i am uh, willing to move to cloud operations so how what are the trainings and what are the, how much effort it will required from my side to get a job in cloud operations and how much time uh, it will it may take cloud is so simple field is the cloud is so simple you don't need to do much effort so within two months of that 40 days of training or if you just after that you can just practice only one more month easily you can get the job so the maximum effort to consider is 90 days if i talk about that one. and suppose uh, i i i have no means i don't have any hands of experience in the any project mm -hmm. is a, can i get a job uh, on based based on so the what, training and the what process? actually yes correct whatever we are going to learn it in the training you can just put it and you can easily get the job i tell you one thing alta It is uh, two days back. I have completed one batch with one of the student. He has put his resume. After that one, he got one first call also. Whatever he has learned in the training, he just put those things in that one. Like we have discussed it about VPC peering, VPN configuration. So he know those things because these are the very basic thing which every person needs to know. Like on premises VM, he got the call and might be next week he has an interview also. easily you can get it and uh, one more whatever thing. we what let me come whatever we are learning it practice those things also and uh, uh, what is the what is the difference in associate and professional uh, the courses which you are offering in associate one there are less services if i talk about in professional there are more services you need to know but yes to learn even to professional you need to know these services okay and uh, this is even if you talk can take the expert or that professional level course you will find same services into that so in okay. as professional level you will get more services you need to learn okay uh, one last last query is there uh, is there any coding uh, coding required no. in no okay. no okay. coding is required okay, okay. but just only the is basic linux is required okay. okay 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 that is very simple that anyone can learn yeah. it actually even still so is speaking a 10th class student also can learn it that okay. even very basic linux is required okay thank you ankit for clearing my all all doubt thanks a lot thank you yes ravi you can unmute yourself hey thanks ankit and thanks a lot to give me opportunity to uh, speak with you and i really uh, thankful that you were quick overview about the aws and uh, really it is helpful uh, while uh, Uh, sharing the screen with all the ppt prepared i have one quick query uh, i have yes. about 10 years of uh, it experience uh, experience with uh, virtualization technology so vmware mm -hmm. profile so how aws uh, will be helpful for my career to switch from private cloud to public 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 cloud if you have already a very good experience is private cloud which actually very good easily very helpful for you to actually because you know the very basic uh, you know your for your cloud basics you are already clear you are actually yeah. very good into that okay. so you can easily switch it you already working in cloud but that you are working private one you can move to this cloud it easily you can switch it no need to worry about those things okay thanks thanks a lot ankit yeah very thank you ravi okay uh let's have one more interaction
question lakshmi please unmute yourself yeah hi anki uh, i have a question like uh, actually i have eight years of mainframe experience so okay. i just want to clear out uh, is there any different ports like aws mainframe because i have seen like aws mainframe moder modernization so uh, i just want to clear out whether i am in right port to taking the course and uh, what to clear is there any other course related to mainframe let me come to that last slide which is there this is the certification we have it actually so right now you are working in mainframe in which technology lakshmi please unmute yourself yeah ibm mainframe ibm mainframe so you can go for easily you can switch to aws it's not much difference we have don't worry about those thing so that as for that one you are right now we are going to learn about this training so you are talking about mainframe for if you want to after that go for that whatever like you have it you can go for those things also in future okay is that a uh, next course level is it you can uh, if after that there are two actually things are there if i talk about after architect you can move to devops that is one option or you can move to professional level that purely depend on your interest both are okay. good okay? okay you see if you see the saspara certification path this is actually certification path after that you can move to professional level or devops level any one you can go both are 100% good in the market okay and i have one more query because yes, yes you can uh, ask as i have as i have 8 years of experience so how can i uh, how many years of experience i can explore in aws two or uh, three easily two to three easily you can put after this training so based on this course uh, if i if i switch the company can i able to yes. handle the work project work and all you can easily training. handle it that what we are going to learn practically in the training that is if you see that complete training is starting from that basic and there are some advanced things which we are going to learn it like migrating on premise vm vpc peering vpn config these are some advanced things which you need to know it so easily you can go for these things also So okay. first we need to learn that basics. Then definitely slowly, slowly we are going to move to the advanced level of the training source. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. Thank you, Lakshmi. So we have a last interaction with Aditya. You can unmute yourself, Aditya. Hello. Hello. Aditya, please, un please unmute yourself. शीतल शीतल प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ हेलो हेलो यस शीतल आई रिसेंटली लर्न बेसिक लिनक्स एंड सो आई डोंट हैव नॉलेज अबाउट एडब्ल्यूएस सो इट्स हेल्प मी फ्रॉम बेसिक डेफिनेटली शीतल डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट दिस ट्रेनिंग इज start anyone can learn even a person having 10 years of experience in any of the technology or you have don't have anyone you can go for that okay thank you okay. thank you suresh is unmute yourself hi ankit yes suresh good evening, hi. Good evening. Thank, thank you ankit actually i do have a 10 years of experience in the non it Mm. i totally uh, do not have any it background actually i have done mba okay so i am just trying first time so some of the person is uh, told me to attend this session so just i hearing what you are explaining each and every one uh, seriously speaking uh, tell you one thing i am a very frank person i'll say the same thing on you yes. also but it's very difficult for you to get a job okay so what you need to do is actually what actually you can do if you want to come to it industry is because you are yes. completely from mba background yes okay so what you can do you need to put two or three years of experience 
in IT industry. Then you okay. can get a job. Otherwise, it's zero percent possible for you to get a job. Okay. 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 Actually, that is interested. one thing. Yes. Yeah. If you are interested, if you want to go for AWS, okay, because future is all about cloud. Okay. That you need to definitely put some experience. That previous experience. That is the only chance you have. Otherwise, I don't think so. there is there is that very difficult. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Might be you yeah. can understand why I'm saying this thing because yes. the person who is done BTEC or MBA, so definitely they go for that BTEC person. Okay. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, thank you. Yes, Aditya, you can unmute yourself. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. No issues. No issues. So uh, my background is uh, middleware, uh, Webshare application server and IBM Pure App Systems. Thus, yes, same one. So uh, since sure. I already have uh, exposure to private cloud and okay. I've been working with IBM Pure App Systems for a good uh, six to eight years. That's so awesome. uh, it is the transition from uh, IBM Pure, Pure App to AWS easy and yes, do you think, like, uh, okay. Yes, yes, you can continue. Uh, do you think um, the transition to uh, associate and then professional would take few months or like few years? No, oh, no, no. It not take few years, but uh, seriously speaking, Aditya, for uh, associate level, just I have like uh, there's a one person have asked me how much time it will take. That I have already told you maximum it will take ninety days. Okay. Okay. In associate level, if you go for the because forty days is all about training. Mm. Okay. What it is about about training, then I want you to spend minimum 40 to 50 days, whatever we have learned it on those things also. Because if you practice it, then you are, your doubts will get clear, all those things. And then you are able to give the interview. Then that is why I told you when I was a learner, when I have switched my technology, because I starting, I have worked in Oracle application, then I moved to AWS. I also take minimum 90 days. Okay. It takes me. Okay, so it takes normally, it takes normally 90 days, even not just talk about AWS, any of the technology, if you're moving it, it takes near about 90 days to switch to completely learn about that technology. Okay, got it. So, okay, so assuming that will take uh, I can like, I can become a professional certified. Uh, no, that is like, associate level I'm talking about, 90 days. Months. Associate level. Okay. For mm. that, if you can want to go for professional level, the same thing. 90 days you can consider. It means maximum of six months. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Sandeesh. Now we are running. Please unmute yourself. Hi, Ankit. I am from Electrical. I am passed out in 2018. I want to jump to AWS. Is AWS is okay. I will learn to dev DevOps also for getting job. Naveshri, if you just go for the, I tell you one thing, DevOps and AWS, both are different courses. Okay. okay. If you learn, okay. if you don't know about it to learn AWS, DevOps is not required to learn DevOps. AWS is not required. First of all, okay. but if you know both the things that is actually a good thing, you have both the one. So it will be easy for you to get a job if you know both the things. But if you don't want to learn, let's say you don't want to learn AWS, you just need to learn only DevOps. That is also sufficient. I just want to go for AWS. You don't want to learn DevOps. That is also. But if you know both, that is actually a good advantage you have. These both are different. Yes, both are different things. I mean, I mean the both can work together, but both are different things. AWS is different. DevOps is different. Okay. 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 Thank you, Ankit. Thank you. Ali, you can unmute yourself. Uh, hello, Ankit. This is me, Ali Soel. <laughs> I've uh, completed my engineering in 2020 from a uh, civil branch, bachelor's in engineering in civil. Okay. And uh, currently, I'm working as an US IT recruiter, and I'm so desperate to switch to AWS. So, with where that you are working to, at? Uh, I'm working at uh, Fresh Gravity. In uh, Bangalore? Uh, no, Pune branch. Ne. Yeah. Really? So, uh, my company really want your number might be <laughs> in USA because they are they also they want to hire some new people. Okay, 
USIT recruiters. Yes, correct. Yeah. So I have been uh, recruiting for around eight months, you can say, and uh, from that I came to know it will be, uh, you know, a good platform for myself to switch to AWS. That's what I thought of. So could you please have some definitely, light on this? Definitely, definitely. How? What is your uh, qualification, Ali? Uh, bachelor's in engineering, but the branch is civil. <laughs> So that is also okay. But you can do it like which I have told you to other person also. You need to put some. Uh, in which year you have completed? Two thousand eighteen, I think. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. So what you can do is you can just put one years of experience in AWS, then okay. you can easily switch it. All right. Okay. But that what you need to do it because you mm -hmm. are from that civil background. You're not from that computers background. That what you mm -hmm. need to do. Okay, uh, because I just heard you just told that guy about MBNA, so that clicked yes, my mind. Yes, that is yes, that yeah, girl, girl, correct. That same thing for you also. All but right. clearly speaking, the person who is from B Tech or BCA, they can mm -hmm. easily come to any other one, but civil or MBA one, it's completely difficult. Mm, yes, not complete. If I talk about clearly speaking about cloud, specific to cloud, it's little difficult to okay. those person to move to cloud. Okay, okay. So after completing one year of experience, will that be okay? Yes, hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Thank you guys. Have a nice day. It's a good session for me also. Okay. So tomorrow also we'll join with the same time at six thirty p.m. IST. So in tomorrow session we'll start learning about whatever the AWS services we have it, and the first service we'll start learning about is EC2. That we'll learn in the tomorrow session. Just some, okay, some message. Convert. What is your convert? Or oh, let me just unmute him. What is your question? Kamran, mm. sorry. Yes, Kamran, you can unmute yourself. Kamran, please unmute yourself. I'm waiting for you, Kamran. Kamran, if you're not unmuting, I'm not able to answer your question. Okay, okay guys, no issue. Okay, so see you tomorrow at same time at 6.30. So we'll start learning about these services. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day. Thank you.